So you've booked your Royal Caribbean cruise and you're very excited. One of the next decisions you have to make is whether or not you're going to purchase the Royal Caribbean drink package. This is one of the number one questions that I get from my clients when they book a Royal Caribbean cruise. Let's get into the details so you can make the best decision for your vacation. First, let's take a look at the various drink packages that Royal Caribbean offers. And once we do that, we can get into the details of the deluxe drink package. Royal Caribbean offers the classic soda package. This includes fountain sodas and refills at any venue, the Coca-Cola freestyle machines, and a Coca-Cola souvenir cup. The next package is the refreshment drink package. This includes everything that's in the classic soda package that I just mentioned, as well as non-alcoholic drinks, so like mocktails, bottled still and sparkling water, premium coffees and teas, and fresh squeezed juices. And then the last package is the deluxe beverage package. This package includes everything we just talked about, as well as alcoholic beverages. So cocktails, spirits, frozen drinks, anything that has alcohol in it is included in the deluxe package. So cocktails, spirit, liquor drinks, beer, wine by the glass, basically anything you want to drink on board is included in it except if there's a Starbucks on board. If there's a Starbucks on board, that's not included. Now that we've taken a look at the beverage packages that are offered, let's take a look at any of the drinks we just talked about if you were to purchase them a la carte while on board. I'll put a list up right here, but I'm also gonna look at my phone while I'm doing this because it just makes it a little bit easier. So a beer, is 750. A hard seltzer is 750. Cocktails are anywhere between 10 and 14 dollars. Royal Caribbean often has a drink of the day and the drink of the day is around 11 dollars. So that's like their special drink of the day. Bottled water is two dollars and 25 cents. A can of soda is 350. A glass of wine is anywhere between $9 and $25, depending how much you want to spend on a glass of wine. And a specialty coffee is around $4.25. And it's important to note that any of these prices that we talk about today are as of the recording of this video, which is May 30th, 2024. So certainly prices are subject to change at any time. So now let's talk about some real life examples. And these are really just examples and can vary from person to person. But it helps to have an idea of what you'll be drinking during the day to even determine if the drink package is worth it for you. Even though I'm giving you some examples, I really would suggest you do this for yourself to kind of get an idea if it's worth it. So let's say for one person, this is what you're gonna drink for the day. Maybe you start the day out with a specialty coffee. Then maybe later in the day, you have two frozen cocktails by the pool. I love pina coladas, so maybe you're gonna do that. Perhaps you're going to have one bottle of water that you want to also grab with you and bring with you by the pool. Maybe you're going to have a glass of wine with dinner, and maybe you're going to have a cocktail after dinner. If we do the math on all the drinks that we just talked about in one day for one guest, that adds up to about $59.75. Again, this is just an example. You can do the math for yourself on your own experience. So at $59.75 for the day, a 20% gratuity is going to be added for any of the drinks that you get at the bar. So that brings you up to about $70 for the day total with everything I just listed, including gratuity. Now again, this is just an example and it can vary by individual from day to day. You're probably not going to drink the same exact thing every day. This really is to just give you an example how things can add up. Lastly, let's take an example of the cost of the deluxe drink package. That's the one we're going to look at today because that's the one I'm asked most about, the deluxe drink package. So let's take a look at it for a seven-day cruise. It is important to note that 
the deluxe drink package, the price varies on your length of cruise, your itinerary, even the ship that you're on. It's not the same price for every single scenario. So the one I'm going to use is an example for us. We are going on the Icon of the Seas on June 15th for a seven night cruise. So I'm going to share with you how much it costs us to buy the deluxe drink package. By the way, we are very excited about the icon. So if you take a moment and subscribe to our channel, you'll be able to see all the videos we post while we're on the icon of the seas. So again, I'm going to reference the notes I have in my phone so that I'm sure that I get it right. The deluxe drink package cost us for two people for a seven night cruise on the icon of the seas on June 15th. The deluxe drink package cost us $993.86. Again, that's for two people. Then when we add in gratuities, which was $178.78, it comes to a total of $1,172.64. So that's the total for the drink package with tax and gratuities. So the per day charge for both of us is $167.52. That comes out to about $84 per person. For us, every time I go on a cruise, I go through this exercise so I can figure out if the drink package is worth it for us. And oftentimes we find that it is. If we look back at our example, we were at about $70 per day per person for the drinks that I listed. And again, those are just examples. There's often times where I'll have three frozen drinks sitting by the pool. I'll have two bottles of water. I'll have one drink before dinner, one glass of wine with dinner, and maybe a drink after dinner. Again, you kind of have to know your own habits and figure out and do the math. For us, we usually figure out that the drink package is worth it. Not only is it worth it because we probably drink and add up to about that much per day, but there's always the convenience factor. If you do decide that you want to purchase any of the drink packages and you can see it right in your Royal Caribbean Cruise Planner, always, always, always purchase the drink package ahead of time before you get on your cruise. It's always less expensive than it is on the ship. And very often Royal Caribbean will run promos and specials so that there is a discount on the deluxe drink package or any of the drink packages. If you purchase the drink package and you check the price again at a later date, you can always cancel the drink package that you already purchased and repurchase it at the lower price. Royal Caribbean has that advantage with all their cruise planner purchases. You can do that at any time. So I I often will keep an eye on the drink package prices just to see if they go down or not because if they do I'll cancel my purchase and I'll repurchase it again at the lower price. If you've purchased a drink package or you haven't purchased a drink package feel free to leave a comment below and let me know your experience if you thought it was worth it for you and we definitely can share that info with our community. I'm sure other people would love to hear from you in the comments as well. I hope that you found this video helpful. Again, it's a question I get a lot, so I wanted to make a video to help people decide if this drink package is worth it or not if you're going on a Royal Caribbean cruise. If you like this video, then you'll definitely like the one right here where we boarded the Celebrity Ascent.